Sunday, 24th of March, 2024. So, business is a vicious hmm, feedback loop. Because there's a great saying that I really like, success begets success. Once you've had some success in something, no matter how small or humble it is, it becomes easier and easier to get more and bigger on a grander scale. So I heard it described about 10 odd years ago that earning £10 and $10 for a business is difficult, but earning 100 is easy. That, that 10 is difficult because you're establishing the roots, the process, how to do it, the logistics, the infrastructure, whatever else, breaking the mindset, changing the mindset. And then the 100 is easy because it's just rinse and repeat or scale or double down. So it seems in business that what's working, do more of that. And what's failing is do less of that. Makes sense. It's quite exquisite, really. Because I'm doing a few things with the Facebook adverts and uh, the ones that are working, you know, increase the budget, focus on them. The ones that aren't working, turn them off. Makes sense. Experiment. Because you see also, uh, business is like a big experiment. And the more little experiments you do, uh, the better you become at it. The better ways you find to do things, do this, do that. It's, it makes sense, really. Experiment. So we need to be like a mad scientist. And you do more of these experiments and it becomes easier and easier. It's like once you've had your first sale, the, to get the second one, each subsequent sale is exponentially, I guess exponentially, that'd be the right word, but much more easier than the previous. Right. And there's also this great statistic that talks about it's easier to get an existing customer to buy another product or buy a second product than it would be to persuade someone new, a cold lead you would say, to sign up. So it's a vicious loop because once you break certain barriers, logistics, even mental, that's something important, it gets easier and easier. And 10 odd years ago as well, I used to think very irrationally, even back then I knew it was irrational, but you know, I was cursed. Ooh, I wasn't allowed to make money, which is totally absurd. But it was a limiting belief, you could say. Yeah, limiting belief. Because there's a great quote by Henry Ford that talks about if you, if you think you can or you can't do something, you're right. And uh, I just think, well, if, not even, if you're not even going to try to have success, do something, do this, go there, achieve this, or, you know, start, then you've lost already. You're not even trying. Mm, you gave up on not even the first hurdle. You just gave up at the starting line. Oh, it's so far or whatever the hell. So it's a success. It's, it's a feedback loop because, because it's a game as well. Business and money is a game because once you have some success, you want more of it. Ah. That's nice. That's dopamine receptors. That's your dopamine kicking in. You're getting basically addicted to it. And then this can be, you know, a positive feedback loop or a negative feedback loop where you're addicted or, you know, you're building business and, you know, depends what you want in life. Because I've also realized in life, like fully internalized, that everyone's got different standards and values. So what one person's goal, what one, what one person thinks is a priority, somebody else would think is not a priority at all. But that's another conversation for another video. That interesting topic that'll be, I think. But nonetheless, so it's a, it's a feedback loop. Once you've had some success, you want more. And then once you know what to do, just do it again. Do it again and again and again. And just like this path here, you know, it starts off real rough and crude. But over time, as more people tread the path, it becomes clear exactly what to do. It becomes clear exactly if you want to earn X amount of money or do this or have that, you can... You can find you can easier easily find ways of achieving it because you know what to do roughly. You've got a better idea. There's more clarity involved. Well, there's, there's more you've achieved more clarity, so it, it just becomes easier and easier set to set a goal and achieve it. Priceless, and isn't that what we want in life? Setting goals and achieving them because that's the point of a goal. So yeah, so it's a feedback loop because uh, I'm building a school right now and. Uh, building the followers and the idea would be get loads of followers like saplings like a little sapling and build it into you know champions because the more 
they, they're not champions, like big fans, fans of the product. More, more fans you have of the business, the more money you can make, the more success you have, the bigger notoriety, the more messages, more people come to you, whatever else, which is amazing. And it gets easier and easier, easier and easier. So one interesting thing, a little mental barrier, I noticed and uh, like to get out of the way, so to speak, as soon as possible, kind of, is that things go faster and faster. So I noticed 20 odd years ago that the days, the days of the year, would go faster and faster. January would start off slow, February and pick up pace. And once you get past March, it goes faster and faster. And then June, July, and basically, you know, it's almost to an end, it's coming, going faster and faster. Time flies. Now, of course, this is delusion because time is, time is consistent, but I noticed it. Likewise, I noticed something interesting with numbers as well, money. Uh, the previous digit, once you've achieved, say double digit, the previous digit always goes faster. So you get to 10 and the, the units, the ones, go faster and faster. You get to 100 and the, the tens go faster and faster. You get to 1,000 and the 100 go faster and faster. So the trick would be to get to 10 pounds as quick as possible, because then the one, two, three, four, five would go faster and faster. Get to 20, get to, get to 11 pounds, then you get to 100, and then 10, 20, 30, just comes easier and easier. It's like a strange little, little, little thing I noticed where it gets easier and easier and faster and faster to add an extra zero to the end. So, so that's why I try and talk in like tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands, because then if you're talking tens of thousands, well, no, hundred thousands, hundreds of thousands, you know, 10,000 is a nice chunk. A thousand is like, you know, it's, it's a very nice, nice little handful of cash and it's easy, it comes to you easier and easier. So that's interesting little mental thing I noticed. Which you know, speed is 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 the scale, is the business, is it is what it is. And uh, yesterday I noticed, looking at some statistics on um, the, the business that I'm growing, um, five thousand or so likes here, and there'll be a certain percentage of them that will look at a certain link in impressions from from the followers. And I'm thinking, if that was a post with a link, you know, call to action buy my product here and there's a 5,000 here and then 1% one percent view it and then 1% of that or 2% of that will click on the link. So if you look at it through law of averages and like worst case scenarios like 1%, 2% kind of like low numbers, low ball numbers, it's incredibly easy to, just to throw around making 500, 1,000 pounds for sales here and there. It's like, wow like that's it and then this is this is what i mean by money becomes it gets bigger and bigger and you know more and more zeros and it's like yeah it's like oh a thousand pound oh yeah yeah another one yeah so i did a video about this a few weeks ago now a week or two ago about you know, oh another nineteen thousand pounds or another, another thousand pounds for sales and it's like the, the maths is all there it's just momentum and then trust rapport logistics infrastructure but the scaffolding is, is there it's just it's not it's not ready to go basically so so 5,000 likes or followers results in this many views. And then in theory, one or 2% would result in that many clicks. And then one or 2% would result in sales. Okay, looking at those numbers, those ratios, 10x the numbers, rather than 5,000, 50,000 likes or followers, 10x, 10x, 10x. And then suddenly you can see how it's all a vicious loop. It's just how much money do you want to make or how many followers do you need in order to achieve X or, you know, how many, how, what do you want? You know, is it an ego thing? Oh, I want to have a million subscribers here or there, or I want to make ten thousand pounds a month or whatever. You know, there's all sorts of metrics and goals we have: ego, pride, wallet. You, you know, again, this goes back to what I said earlier, where we've all got our own goals and values. Some people will just want a lifestyle business. Some people will be wanting to build a business just for exit, just to sell it. You know, in two, three, five, ten years, whatever. You know, subjective value. You know, different priorities. Fair enough. But that's the interesting thing. That ties into what I said, it's, it's a vicious loop. It's a vicious feedback loop where just 10X the numbers. Now, of course, easier said than done, but there are ways, you know, content, long form content, advertising, there are techniques and strategies. And that's what these platforms exist for, social media, advertising, whatever. That's what they're there for. And then you can say, well, they're well-refined machines, well-refined infrastructure, you know, Facebook adverts, for example, or the YouTube algorithm, for example. So it's, 
once you've got momentum and energy and consistency and focus, it's, it's success, some would say, is uh, it's kind of built in. Fair enough. And then that's why I think it's down to your mindset. You know, if you're not trying, if you give up on the first hurdle, then, then uh, you know, you've lost already. You didn't even try. Uh, or you've got, you've got things that are holding you back in life. And uh, what does that mean? Well, you're, you're, you're beating yourself. You're, you are your own biggest enemy, so to speak. Hence, you know, that thing I talked about where 10 years ago, well, I'm cursed, I'm not allowed to make money. Which, and that, that I've noticed, if you can't do it yourself, like through it here, or here, or in the soul, heart, soul, or brain, then uh, you have to do it through seeing successes and defeats. And the more of those you have, the more successes you get. Because, and then the more defeats you have, the more, the stronger you really ought to, keyword there is ought, like ideally, ideally have a stronger desire to achieve success. Now, of course, strengths, weaknesses, whatever else, but the more the merrier. Uh, and interesting, I also find that actually you can learn just as much from um, um, vic uh, victories as from defeats. I just think it requires a bit of retrospective, retrospectism, you know, being retro retrospective and, um, and being uh, critical and, uh, you know, and looking and analyzing. Because I've noticed that when driving, there'll be a scenario, you know, this, something will happen. And then I'll think, wow, thank goodness no one was standing there or that guy, there was no one there or no pedestrian here or it was a green light or someone, someone did this or someone didn't do X or Y or Z. Thank God for that. Because had it been different, oh, could have been a problem. And, and that's just being, looking at a situation where I was successful because nothing happened and, and analyzing what could have happened, what could have gone differently. Mm. So I think you learn both from success, successes and defeats. But I, I think probably more from defeats, because then at least, at least then you've got this des desire. If you channel, if you channel and foster that emotion, that desire into uh, uh, um, achieving victory, basically. If you channel it into pushing forward, you get it. Because also, it's worth understanding that your desire to win has to be greater than your fear or despair so to speak because in defeat you can be despair you know you can oh what was me oh oh no i can't do it and again that's that's all in your mind it's all in your heart all in your soul so if you channel it positively ooh, positive thinking i guess yeah well if you're gonna think if you're gonna have one thought in mind it might as well be positive positive and empowering that makes sense doesn't it so um if you then channel that despair so to speak that anguish, that pain, <gasps> into wanting to achieve something, having something, being something, whatever else you, you tell me, your goals, your life, you're an adult, make up your own mind, usual stuff, and then uh, that's, that's powerful. But come on, let's face it, we all want success. So then it's a question of how could you salvage, let's say, a lesson from victory. And there are ways, you know, being critical. I've yet to figure out other ways, but still. So. It's a, it's a feedback loop. The more you see, the more you do, the more you achieve, the more you have, the better. I don't see why not. More discipline, yeah, discipline gets easier and easier. Yeah, every day I do a selfie, a video, and a hundred push-ups, Spanish lessons. So it's just like, just every day. Every day you move closer to the goals. Makes sense. So, business, yeah. I'd say so. It's a, it's a vicious, positive feedback loop, and it gets easier and easier. And then what comes to mind also? There's that quote, that book, um, "Think Big, Power of Thinking Big." It's easier to think big than to think small, but at the same time, <laughs> at the same time, you've got to be careful not to uh, bite off more than you can chew. But then again, if you've got ambition and you've got time and you know, you've got discipline and structure, then yeah, build anything you want. Because the building, the business I'm building, there's a lot, a lot that needs recording. A lot to record and broadcast, but still, you know, success big at success. And it's like the more long form content you create, because I heard long form content's the way to go, because it helps build rapport. Because in marketing, it's an interesting concept, psychology or marketing. Uh, five hours, 
or 11 touch points and people start to build rapport. People start to know, like, and trust you. So built by having long form content and people consuming, you know, five hours of your content or watching 11 of your videos, something to that effect, they start to become familiar with you. And this goes into what I said earlier where the numbers and the economy of scale where 5,000 versus 50,000, yes, but if you've got, that's quantity, but if you've got quality as well, you've got like a thousand, three, four, five thousand people that are hardcore fans of your business. They love every product you sell. They buy everything. They buy everything and they watch all your content. You know, you've got guaranteed customers built in, you know, and that, that takes time and momentum. Time and momentum. And uh, that is called a thousand true fans. So the more long form content you have and the more of it, yeah, uh, and the more they consume, the more they know, like, and trust you, know, like, and trust you, the easier it'll be, the key word there is easier, it'll be to make more sales. And what does that equate? Well, within reason, it means your business grows. And of course, mismanagement and problems, whatever else, logistics, life. But, you know, more sales, I guess, is, is rarely ever a bad thing. I mean, of course, anomalies, whatever else, and technicalities, but nonetheless. So yes, so business is a feedback loop, a vicious, viciously positive feedback loop, and you know, how much, how much victory, how much success do you want in life? Well, that's your choice, you tell me. So otherwise, um, nice day here. And a um, little farther to go, nice little detour here and there. But otherwise, you will see me tomorrow.